I'm Lillian, welcome back to my channel Income Pages. This video is going to be my February TBR. This month I am going to try and participate in Blackathon. This is a readathon created and hosted by Jessie on their channel Bowties and Books and it is to celebrate uh, Black History Month in the US but obviously you don't have to be American or in America to take part. So for this readathon there are a bunch of different uh, teams and prompts and challenges and activities uh, and you can participate basically however you want. I have done a little bit of picking and choosing uh, for the prompts to make sure they fit books that I want to read soon. Um, so there are four main teams which are all based on different genres, although I have to say the books I've chosen um, don't always match the genre of the team which the prompt came from. But I have ambitiously chosen six books to go on this TBR. Um, the first one is to fit the thriller horror team prompt of read a book with an adjective in the title. And I'm going to be reading Black is the Body, stories from my grandmother's time, my mother's time and mine by Emily Bernard. This is a collection of personal essays all about her own experience of race and identity in America and obviously as the title would suggest also talks a bit about her mum and her grandma's experiences I believe. I really like reading memoirs in general um, and when I was googling this book to find out a little bit more about it I found an extract of her writing and where she talked about her husband and her family and food and it was just really good it was a really good read um, and I definitely want to read more from her now and so I'm very excited to start this book this month. The next prompt comes from Team Contemporary and Literary Fiction which is to read a book that explores the duality of found family and blood and it's maybe a bit of a stretch to use the book I've chosen for this prompt because I don't I don't 100% think it examines those topics but it examines similar topics um, because it is I Am Not Your Baby Mother by Candice Braithwaite and this is all about being a black woman and a black mother in the UK. My mum and sister have actually already read this book and both liked it so that bodes very well for me um, and I'm also using this for my buzzwordathon pick. Uh, the February prompt for that is to read a book with a pronoun or a possessive pronoun in the title so obviously I'm not your baby mother means that this fits for that too. But back to the Blackathon prompts, uh, the next team is the science fiction and fantasy team. I'm actually fulfilling three of their different prompts. The first one is to read a book that explores the duality of betrayal and loyalty. So I'm going to be picking up uh, A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This is a fantasy story following two different protagonists. Um, our first one, his sister is kidnapped and in order to get her back, he needs to kill the princess. So he decides to enter um, the like contest that they're holding to find the princess a husband so he can get close to her that way. Um, and we're also following the princess who wants to resurrect her mum using like ancient magic. Uh, and for this spell, she needs to have the heart of a king. So she decides that whoever wins the contest and becomes her husband, she's gonna kill him. and use his heart in the spell. So obviously conflicting interest there, but they also have a romance. So this is definitely gonna look at um, betrayal and loyalty and ask like, are they, is either of them actually gonna be able to go through it? Who knows, what are they gonna do? I don't know, but I've heard really, really good things about this book. I've also heard that the sequel isn't as good, but I'm just gonna read this first one, see how it goes. The next prompt is to read a book with trans spectrum representation. So I am picking An Unkindness of Ghosts by Rivers Solomon. This is a science fiction story set on a spaceship um, and the society on the spaceship is very similar to US society in the, like the 1800s um, with its overtly racist hierarchies. This book apparently represents a whole load of different gender identities. Um, so I believe there's a trans side character and our main protagonist is um, a non-binary intersex woman. And I've heard that this story is just beautifully written. That's like the number one thing that was cropping up in all of the reviews I read for it with how much they liked the poetic writing. And it sounds like it has incredible complex characters and it's just all around a really great book. And the next prompt I am going to be doing is to read a book that is between 312 and 387 pages. So I have picked The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dari, which is exactly 312 pages long. This is set in Nigeria and follows a 14 year old girl called Aduni who is married off to be the third wife of this much older man. Um, but Aduni is curious and clever and funny and wants a lot more than this uh, prescriptive traditional role that has been assigned to her and she wants to get an education more than anything. And I don't normally enjoy literary and contemporary fiction as much as I do like science fiction and fantasy but I've read the first chapter of this and I really liked the writing and I want to find out what happens to Adini next. 
So I think I'm really gonna like it. And even if I don't, it's quite a short book. Like it's 312 pages, but that's a lot shorter than some other ones on my TBR. Um, so even if I end up hating this book, which I don't think is going to happen, it will be quite a quick read. And the final prompt is from the romance team of Blackathon, and this prompt is to read a book where two black characters fall in love. So I have chosen How to Find a Princess by Alyssa Cole. So this book is about uh, a woman who turns out to be like the long lost princess of this fictional African country, um, and also the investigator who tracks her down um, and tells her that she is a princess. Um, and I've read quite a few books before that have the secret princess trope in them, but not in like a straight up romance book. Um, so I'm interested in seeing if I like that trope in this genre as well. And this just sounds quite fun and lighthearted, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And I'm very interested to see if I enjoy this book. So those are all of the books I'm hoping to read this month. Um, if you are also participating in Blackathon, I would love to hear what your TBR is. Are we doing any of the same prompts? That'll be quite cool. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.